Helldivers 2 has been out for more than a month now and is still going strong. A lot of new players and also a lot of players are still staying and spreading managed democracy. Personally, I have more than 200 hours of playtime already in this game and I have maxed out all of the upgrades, war bonds, and capped on all materials. I probably shouldn't brag about not having a life, but anyway, my purpose today is to guide you cadets in starting off as a Helldiver. I know it can get quite daunting when starting out, but I promise you it's a lot simpler than it looks. So let's hop right to it. Firstly, let's talk about your gear. Starting off as a Helldiver, you'll need your basic gear. To check what you already have, it's all here. The Armory. So the Armory is pretty standard, pretty basic. You'll get your tabs here on the top. You'll see your weaponry, armor, character, booster, career. So for the weaponry, you'll basically see what you have by pressing the thumbnail of the weapon. So for your primary, your secondary, it's all there. Your grenade, it's all there too. For your armors, you get to the armory tab. It's the same thing, same principle, yada yada yada. You get the gist. For your character, it's basically just customizing your Helldiver. It doesn't really it doesn't affect your gameplay in any way. It's just for your personal preference. Boosters are gears that you can get on the game. It's uh, basically an upgrade to your squad. Career is well, your career. Man, I have a lot of terminated kills, not a lot of automatons. Sheesh. If you want to get more gear, you'll have to check acquisitions. You'll be able to see it on the top of your screen. For PC, it is by pressing the default key, which is R, and by doing so, you'll be able to see these war bonds. Now, I'll try to explain what war bonds are as simple as possible. They are basically battle passes. Your currency for getting these gears are called medals. Medals, you can check your currency on the top right of your screen. You can get medals by completing missions. Currently, there are three war bonds. The base one, which is the one you can get for free, the other two are called premium war bonds, which are basically your quote unquote paid battle passes, which can be purchased with real money, or you can get super credits that you can grind for in game if you don't want to spend for it. There is also a rotation of armors exclusive to the superstore, which can be bought with super credits. It's your call if you want to spend real money or you can grind it in game. Now, if you do end up buying the premium war bond with real money, do keep it in mind that you still need medals to get those items. It is also worth mentioning that these war bonds are not time gated, so even if you don't get it now, it will not be removed after a month or a season or whatever you want to call it, unlike other games. Which is a nice touch in my opinion, effectively removing FOMO for everyone. Second, let's go to your stratagems or your support stuff, just to keep it simple. So let's get to this panel over here. These are the things that will support you in your missions. You'll see a list, as you can see here. I will not tell you what each of these does, but I will tell you what they are. So, when you're on the ground, you can call on your ship for support. It can be asking for a heavy weapon, or asking for an artillery support, or even air support. You get the gist. Starting off, you'll see that most of these are locked. The way to unlock them is by purchasing them with requisition points and by leveling up, which you can see on the top right of your screen. Requisition points can be collected by, again, completing missions. Let's get to the upgrades. You'll see this ship module tab on the top left of your screen. It will show you a list of upgrades that you can give to your ship. Now, let me give you a quick explanation of what these upgrades do. So. Your ship is the one giving you your support when you call on your stratagems. What this does is it improves your stratagems, be it cooldowns, more accuracy, or even just more ammo on your support weapon. You can get these upgrades by using materials called samples, which you can see in the top right of your screen again. Samples are classified into three, that is common, rare, and super. These samples can be collected during missions but you actually have to get them in the mission, not just by completing them. Think of it like it's a collectible in a mission that you have to bring it back to your ship. The rarer the sample is, the higher the difficulty of the mission is required. So for common samples, you can get them on all difficulties. Rare samples, you can get them from challenging difficulty and up. And then you've got the super samples where you can get them from suicide mission and above. 
up next is starting emissions and other stuff that might you know that might overwhelm you so firstly you're gonna walk up to this guy this is your war table and by interacting you will be able to check the galactic war status with this you can pick missions there are two factions that you can fight against there's automatons where you get to role play as john connor trying to shut down skynet or you can roleplay as Rico fighting bugs on the Terminid side while being cucked by Dennis Richard's co-pilot while you're dying. That is up to you. The Galactic War is a system where it is shared with fellow Helldivers all across the globe. Firstly, every three days or so, we get major orders from Super Earth High Command. You should be able to see it on the top right of your screen. And you also have your daily personal order, which you can see on the bottom right. It is a good way to get extra medals and they're basically your daily quest if you want extra rewards. There is also the liberation status. That's the percentage bar under certain planets. So with the ongoing galactic war, the enemy factions are trying to push on our territories. What we do is we push them back by upping our liberation status on said planets. To contribute to the war effort, your squad should finish operations. They are basically chain missions that when done you get extra rewards while also contributing to the planet's liberation status the higher the difficulty is more missions per operation but also more rewards now that you have chosen your mission what you're gonna do is go into your help pod with your teammates and once you're in it will prompt you to choose where to drop you'll be able to see your objectives like so you can drop on the objective um, directly or you can just drop safe somewhere where there are no enemies now once you have chosen your drop you will be prompted to pick your stratagems which is essentially your air support or the stratagems that I mentioned earlier weapons and stuff on the ground your number one enemy is yourself friendly fire is tolerated and you have a limited amount of reinforcements You'll be able to see your cooldowns of your available stratagems and the number of your reinforcements on the top left of your screen. You'll also see a timer for the current mission on the top right and once you run out of time, you will no longer be able to reinforce teammates and you can't request for support from your ship. I would like to share some more tips but in my opinion, the best way to learn is in the field. So these are just the basics. If you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. I hope I helped you in starting off your Helldiver journey, and I hope that the next time I see you, I would have to salute you. So go and spread freedom, Helldiver.